Hey everyone, this is Dave here with a look at Paragon on PS4 and PS4 Pro. Now, I was particularly interested in this title because it is one of the first games for PS4 Pro that targets graphical upgrades specifically aimed at owners of 1080p TVs. That's right, there's no 4K mode here. Instead, Epic Games has used the additional power of the Pro to ramp up the visuals and indeed the resolution. So what kind of an upgrade are we getting? And are there any downsides? Well, for a start, resolution is one of the big different points here. On the base PS4, Paragon targets 900p, allowing the developers to target 60fps. The result is that while the image is very clean due to the use of the temporal anti-aliasing, it's also rather soft, and fine details across textures and distant parts of the environment do get smoothed over. It is a compromise, and I think it works in order to target the high frame rate required, but there is a sense that more clarity could be produced in the scene, and that's exactly what you get with PS4 Pro. Here Epic Games are rendering natively at 1080p, allowing for a 1 to 1 pixel map with your full HD display, and this results in a much sharper, clearer image. Texture details are better resolved, and the result is we get a crisper presentation that also appears generally more detailed overall, particularly across distant scenery. The level of detail has also been increased in other areas as well. It's not just resolution that gets the boost here. For one, the game features increased foliage. In fact, Epic Games are using procedurally generated grass for this game, which deploys foliage in random patterns across the environment. In comparison, going back to their base PS4 game, and the worlds do feel somewhat more barren here. It's a nice upgrade, and it's one that is clearly visible right from the off. Lighting is also enhanced with the use of volumetric effects, light shafts, and bloom. Here we've got the new bloom effect in action, and it definitely adds a distinct glow to certain light sources throughout the environment. The developer also mentions the use of enhanced light shafts, but from what I've seen so far this may be one of the more subtle upgrades in the game, and this scene here didn't actually result in light shafts being displayed when we'd usually expect. That said, there is a clear use of volumetric fog across the environment. This is usually found in the distance, and adds thicker clouds of mist across the sky that sometimes reach down closer to the ground. It's another subtle upgrade, but one that does add an extra layer of detail to the game. Screen space reflections also flesh out the world detail as well. These serve two purposes here. One, the surrounding environment is reflected across shiny surfaces, and two, surfaces that feature specular properties actually appear slightly more shiny as a result. Another big upgrade comes in the form of increased draw distance. There's slightly less in the way of pop-up when playing on the Pro, but the big gains here come in a sense that smaller details are visible in the distance before they appear on the standard PS4. Motion Blur is another visual effect we see exclusive to the Pro version, with the game utilising both camera and object variants. Now as this game is running at 60 frames per second, motion blur isn't really required in order to give the presentation a smoother look, but I will say it adds a distinct sort of cinematic intensity to the firefights and action scenes. Lastly, we also see the use of contact shadows, which is more of a subtle effect, but is nonetheless a welcome refinement to the presentation. So on the whole, Epic Games has delivered a considerable upgrade here in many areas. Now it's fair to say that some of the improvements are quite subtle, but when taken as a whole, when all of the effects work is viewed together, then the difference becomes far more pronounced. And when playing the game on the Pro, then moving back to the base PS4, the upgrades are clear as day to see, the environment feels more detailed, better fleshed out, and the effects work is a lot more refined. The game still looks great on the standard PS4, but on the Pro, it's like moving to a, say, a higher-end PC version of the game. And that's another thing I find interesting. When we first played Paragon on the PlayStation 4, the game appeared visually identical to the PC release, bar, of course, the uh, 900p resolution on PS4. Now, we haven't gone back to the PC version since our original analysis, but I would be interested to see if these PS4 Pro upgrades have actually carried over to the PC game as well. I suspect that they probably will, but it's something that I want to look into. 
There's a clear vision improvement when running Paragon on PS4 Pro, but what about performance? Do we see any improvements with regards to frame rate? Well, on the standard PlayStation 4, the game targets 60 frames per second, and in order to better maintain this, Epic Games are running the game at 900p resolution. That said, it is clear that frame rates are generally variable across a run of play. For example, while the game does indeed hit that 60 FPS line we want in less demanding scenes, as soon as we get into combat, frame rates do frequently fluctuate. Generally, frame rates fall between 50 and 60 FPS in smaller scale battles, but when the particles really start flying, intense combat scenes see things brought down to the mid 40s. As a result, the experience can go from feeling pretty smooth to quite stuttery on the base PS4, and while I did enjoy playing the game on the console, I did feel that performance could be better. Moving on to PlayStation 4 Pro, and well, I have some good news and some bad news here. The good news is that performance isn't any worse than the base PlayStation 4 game, and screen tearing has been completely eliminated. We're now looking at a solidly vSync presentation here, which is nice to see. Unfortunately, while we do see an improvement in frame rates over the base hardware, the game is still far from hitting a lock 60 FPS. In less demanding scenes, 60 FPS is assured, but again, as soon as we get into action heavy moments, we see similar variances in frame rate as on the base game. So, anything between lows of around the mid 40s up to 55 60 FPS. Now it's worth stressing that this is a multiplayer game, and matching up like for like gameplay scenes is near impossible, but the results are very similar across the same kind of stress points, plenty of alpha effects, particles, that kind of stuff. Ultimately, while it's disappointing, we're still getting a visual upgrade in other areas, such as the increase in resolution and upgraded effects work, all of which do contribute to a nicer looking game when playing on the Pro. That said, I do feel that it would have been nice to be given the choice whether you want to run the game with enhanced visuals, or perhaps even a higher frame rate. In multiplayer games like this, getting a consistent controller response is rather important, and perhaps if there was an option to disable the visual upgrades, that might bring frame rates closer to the desired 60fps target, perhaps even accommodating a 1080p resolution. Anyway, while it's not a perfect showing for the game running on PS4 Pro, it's still a tangible improvement over the base game. So you're not getting any downgrades here, and the game actually looks nicer as well. So with that said, I think that about wraps things up. As ever, don't forget to give us a like or subscribe if you enjoyed this analysis. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.